Okay guys, so today we're gonna make a bedside rug. I'm so excited. Guys, you should see, and then I have a tile floor. So it's like, you know, feel like that's all the time around the house because we live in the country, of course. So I think it feel good to have the rug beside the bed and the rug can get kind of pricey, you know. I'm not sure the other stuff, but Cody rug that I bought from Walmart is 20 bucks. It's less than a yard. It's not, it's not complete the whole yard, but it's, yeah, it's 20 bucks. It's, I didn't make my own as cheaper because I decided I'm gonna, I want to have one on both sides of the guest, bed, uh, guest bedroom. So, I bought this. The whole yard, you need only a whole yard. You get at the Walmart eleven forty four per yard. That the cheap one. It's Hobby Lobby is expensive. I'm not sure about Joanne. So not every your Walmart carry the fabric store. So you might want to check it before you go there. Okay, like I have like a Walmart close by me. Two of them. One of them have. One of them you didn't have. So yeah. So you have to make sure before you drive out there we still carry so i'm going to okay i'm gonna measure the floor because this gate bedroom is not that big like the, the master bedroom so what i'm going to do is i'm going to oh you will need a non slip rug underneath so this you can get a dollar tree or a dollar so you probably need two of them just in case I'm not sure if we need a hot glue to stick that. We'll see how it slip on, on my feet or not. Otherwise, I might have to glue this. Because if this one, you can wash it. You know what? It's, you can make two of them for a bed side. It's cost you, what, $6 for each side on your bed side? It's not a big deal. It's, if you can wash this first, you should buy the new one. They have different color so yeah Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby does have different color but the price is way high like $16.99 per yard so if you can buy a yard or like sell then uh, cheaper than Walmart go ahead and do it but I thought about buying the dark color it's, uh, it didn't fit what the project I have in mind I know probably this one get dirty fast but why not? I like it. It looks good. So it's not like you use in the kitchen, <laughs> just the bedside, right? Yeah, you be worried about it. You use like in your dirty craft room or your kitchen <laughs> so, or your kids' room, right? So anyway, so um, I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna see. Um, I'm gonna fold in half first because in this one a yard. So let's see how it look on the floor. Okay. So if you fold in half, this mean half yeah for each side. Yep. Let's see, guys. Look at that. Let, let me uh move camera in so you guys can see right there. Let me move a little bit. You guys can oh two. Oh, I think I forgot to tie that one. So okay. Sorry, my new tripod, I just love it. So I'm gonna leave like that. Okay, so see this one, the gap here, it's too close to the wall. So I don't really like that. You can see it, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's too close to it. So I'm gonna make a little bit small. So what I'm gonna do is before I cut it, make sure that I got the right side that I look I want. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this and we'll measure it, guys. I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it like that. Let's see how this one looks. it better guys look at this I love it look at this I love it guys look 
Well, I'm not sure if you want it longer to match with your bed, but um, I don't think so because when you get in and out of your bed, you probably right here on the middle. See? This is what I feel really good on my feet too. I love this. It feels so good. So, yeah, I think I like that. And now I see um, I'm packing my... The um, sleeper mat here. Let's see. Yep, you need two of them, guys. Here. Yep. Or you can probably use one of these on the middle. I'm not sure, but. Yeah. But you probably can use one on the middle. It's it's kind of a little bit smaller than the work there. So okay, now I'm going. I think I'm gonna use one foot. Let's see how it's how it's go. I'm gonna measure my rug. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> see um twenty four inches, guys. So I'm gonna unfold this in. I'm sorry guys, you can see my butt or <laughs> not. I'm gonna measure this guy as a twenty-four with my pen here. If this one work, so I need to get the better pen because this one it can work very well, guys. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, yeah, I'm back. So I mark my fabric there so I'm gonna cut it try to cut underneath just the fabric not the hair not the full part also I go look not even okay so it's pretty good Hey guys, it's looking pretty good guys, so now I'm going to use, so the one is a bumper one here, you see this one is the even part, and the other one, bumper one, is supposed to face down, okay guys, so I'm going to put this one, the bumper face down, okay. And I'm gonna put my rug on the top here, guys. Let's see. I don't think I need to glue it down. We'll see if it slip under my feet. Well, this one, because this is not even one, I can see that. I might have to use another package there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to use this another package, but it's okay. So what I want to do is
Yep, that one a little bit black over there. So you need to packet these um, from Dollar Tree. Well, it depends what size is it, okay? This one is 24 inches. And the width, if you want to know the width, it depends again, depending on where you put it, okay? So this one is 40 inches, 24 by 40. You even can cut the shape like uh, what is it? Um, what it called? Um, like an animal shape, like when they hunt and they uh, like make a rug from animal, right? <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, this one it too will be perfect, guys, because the one it this one it lap over. You can cut. And put in this between this will be perfect, okay? So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to um, cut this one. The one is overlap, so. See, this side overlap. So I can put this between there. So this cost me what? Um, let's see, the fabric cost me six dollar, right? The about six dollar and then eight dollars total with this mat. So still really good deal though. And if you want to fill on that one, so this one left over. I'm gonna use for the other side of the bed. So. Now, again, we can do for Sasha and his twin. <laughs> they will love it. So let's see the bumper down, the bumper down. I got all the bumper down. Oh no, this one is bumper. Long way. So you probably, you, if you want to use a little bit of a hot glue to put this one down, you can. So, see, I think I'm gonna use hot glue and we're gonna move camera right there because I have a hot glue right there and I have hot glue right there. Okay guys, I'm back. So I have my hot glue here. Cody here with me, so I'm gonna glue this one. So send the hot glue, you can, you know, peel it up, reuse this if you want to change the, the fur look. So I'm gonna use little bit of hot glue here <laughs> just be careful guys it's hot my probably should turn upside down right so it doesn't hurt yourself Ooh, hot, 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 that is. Ow, hot, hot. Mom does a lot of hot glue. <laughs> I know. Um, Cody does pretty hot then. I mean, those stuff are pretty hot. No, and here, not that one. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna turn over. So let's touch the fabric on it because I can it's too much heat, hot for me guys so I'm gonna flip it over so when I use a hot glue I just press on the fur down so I make 
sure this one light up. Okay, oh. Okay, so now I glue. I'm gonna use the glue on the fabric and then press it down. Probably should let it dry, <laughs> but thank you that I have a cement floor. Yeah, if it was another carpet, that would be a mess. Yep, that it will be, dude. And right in. I think I'm gonna fold this one and then start using the glue. Now I'm gonna glue on this side. Ow, that's hot. That's chunky. Oh, how good, hot dude. You could use what is it? Um, spray adhesive, I believe. of your um, floor to sti stick um, the uh, glue everywhere. Uh, Mom, you're almost done with that. I know. I'll get another stick ready. That's okay. Be careful with that hot. So now this one that I think I'm going to use this <laughs> to help me to do this because this, I can't see really well the doing the other way so I'm gonna do um, I think I'm gonna glue this piece first yeah. yep this cost me only eight bucks to make cheaper than Cody mat from the here to go. Maybe we should get a rolling pin or something. That would be awesome. It's yeah. Yep, I will do this off real camera real quick and we'll show you guys how it's done. Okay, okay guys, yeah, my work is finished. This is the bottom part so they have the non slipper there so I can put it down here it's not moving anyway guy that's what we get I like it guys so see I'm gonna make the other one 
for another bit, another side of the bed. So, we'll see you guys a bit. Okay. Okay, here that my bedside rack, 40 by 24. That I make so you can make bigger this, big, bigger than this, but because of the space that we have in the kid bedroom, it's kind of small. That the side I make. I love it. So if you want to go look the other side, see two of them. So the material in your know, two yard race. I know one yard eleven forty forty four, and then I got the Dollar Tree mat. Is I need two of each side, right? So four dollar. It's cost me sixteen dollar for to make two of these. So it's really good deal, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Please leave your comment and give me a thumb up. And what do you think about my best I work? I just love this guy. It's it's not moving. Look. Not moving anyway. So okay guys, thank you so much for watching and leave your comment and give me a thumb up and like this video. We'll see you guys later. Bye bye.